Hi everyone, welcome back to Hey Bartender. My name is Gustavo Rojas, your personal bartender to this almost done quarantine. I know, I know, everybody's sick and tired of it and uh, we're almost there, so please hang on there. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make the Paloma Hermosa. So please, grab your grapefruit juice, grab your tequila, I'll show you how this thing is gonna be done. Okay, so how are we gonna make the Paloma Hermosa? Very simple, you guys, we're gonna need a uh, Really simple ingredients. We're gonna need uh, tequila, obviously 100% agave, tequila blanco. In this case, we're gonna use Milagro. Uh, the holy water of all the bartenders, the Saint Germain. This is an elderflower liqueur for some uh, floral notes and a nice uh, melon taste. Obviously, we're gonna need some uh, lime juice and we're gonna need some fresh grapefruit juice. Uh, also, a little bit of agave nectar. Uh, egg white, lots of love. And uh, just a friendly reminder, please, if you like the recipes, if you like to have some fun cocktails, if you like to show off with your friends or family, like us and subscribe. You're not gonna be sorry about it, okay? So let me show you how this guy is done. Very simple. So let's get started this party with an ounce and a half of tequila. So in this case, I'm gonna be making two cocktails. So let's go for three ounces of tequila. So ounce and a half. And another ounce and a half. That's going to be three ounces. So another flower liqueur, the Saint Germain, we're going to use half an ounce per cocktail. So we're going to go for a full ounce right here. Okay. We're going to use an egg white. Obviously, a lot of people and uh, some of you, you know, are um, vegan. Very simple, just grab your uh, can of uh, garbanzo, uh, garbanzo beans, uh, strain them, and uh, the same water that you're using in them, just use half of an ounce. That'll be more than enough to get the actual flavor and the froth on this cocktail that is the most delicious part of it, okay? So on the grapefruit, you wanna use half an ounce. Uh, for this case, obviously we're gonna use a full ounce. And uh, the last one is gonna be your lime juice, which is gonna be three quarters of an ounce. So for this one, we're gonna use ounce and a half. Okay, and for your sweetener, you're gonna go for a quarter of an ounce of agave nectar. In this case, we're gonna go for half of an ounce. So, we need to do what is called a dry shake in order to make sure that your or egg is gonna create the really nice froth that is gonna be the main uh, thing in your cocktail. And also, if you have the chance to have one ice sphere to do your shake, it's gonna be better because with lots of ice, it's gonna trap all your froth and that's exactly what you don't want. What you want is actually to be able to uh, pour all the, uh, uh, the foam and the froth out of the cocktail. So let's do a shake now with our ice sphere. Okay, so we're gonna go for a very light Salt rim, not too heavy. Uh, this is kind of like a sweet cocktail, so you don't want to make it too uh, too much of a salt. It's not a margarita. You want to put your ice. Before you pour your cocktail, you're going to have your garnish in it. So your garnish, you're going to make it in two different ways. Either you're going to just put some... Uh, lime wheels, thin ones around the cocktail. And you're gonna to proceed to pour your cocktail. So because it's two cocktails, obviously you're gonna have some of the froth coming out, the shaker at the end. So try to make it even. You want to make like a really nice head of froth for both cocktails. It's got to look exactly like this way. So one is going to be with the wheel on the outside. And if you can have some edible flowers, you can just put them on top. 
and uh, for the guys, it's going to be just the line wheels around the actual glass. And here you go, you guys. We have our Palomas Hermosas. Salud.